what's up guys this is Melo here <clears throat> from team breakthrough coming at you with my ignite deck profile um honestly i'm gonna be honest with you uh the deck is not as busted as everybody thought it is hella fun uh but it's not as competitive as a uh, uh, you know many pe uh, many people thought it was uh the only problem with it is because the way it plays out is that you set up a really strong board uh which can be deadly but Many of the monsters don't protect themselves from um, from destruction and stuff like that, so your opponent can easily bait out, you know, your 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 effects, um, you know, like a dark hole or a geki or stuff are really deadly to you. And then once your whole board is wiped out, you are left top decking, uh, and that's not good. But uh, but nevertheless, here's the deck profile, and hope you guys enjoy it. So we start off with a. Uh, Two Crusader and two Squire. Uh, the level threes are not that useful. They're just here to keep the skills balanced. Uh, you don't run uh, rank threes on the extra deck. Well, at least not on this build. Uh, I mean, you can, uh, and you can run three of each, but it's not recommended. It's just, it's just not as good as you draw this, and it's not that amazing. But uh, you know, prefer personal. Rep per Personal preference, uh, preference. Uh, what happened in this in, in this case is that this deck can be, um, you know, used so many ways, put so many tech cards in here. So that's what makes it really, you know, really unpredictable. Uh, but the the play style is the same. So uh, one monk because ninety nine percent of your deck is spells. Um, so this is really good. Uh, it, it, it takes out your library and it allows you to put it in uh, normal um, defense because if you just normal summon your um, library, that means that it's going on attack and it has zero attack. So uh, there's a really high chance that that card is not going to survive uh, just because that's the first card that your opponent is going to want to get rid of because that's what gives you a lot of the pluses. Uh, but yeah, this is good. And then uh, my recommendation is if you use this to get library out, uh, summon in defense, uh, just in case it gets, you know, for some reason, uh, Valor or something, I don't know. Uh, and then once you finish using it, if you do manage to get, you know, to that point to use it, uh, use it uh, as an eximeter. Don't leave it outside because it's really vulnerable. Um, so yeah, but you don't run more than one monk because it's gonna conflict with your the rest of your hands. Uh, one rabbit, uh, self-explanatory, they're all normal, so that's really good. Uh, two hamsters, because when it's on fill, it has a rabbit effect, and when it's on when it's on the pendulum scale, you can banish it to add two normal pendulum monsters from your extra deck with the same name to your hand, which means that. Uh, let's say, for example, you use two Templars and search something out, then you can use Hamster, Banish Hamster from your Pendulum Scale, and add those two Templars back to your hand. And then you can activate them again to, you know, search again or, you know, do whatever uh, you want with them. Then we have uh, three Royal Magical Library. This card, like I said, is busted, but many of the times, once your opponent knows you're playing Nick Knights, they're gonna save all those effect negations and all of that for this because they can't really use it on the rest of the cards. Uh, so this is one of the main ones they're gonna save it for. Um, if it does get negated or something like that, just use an Isaac as an exit material. Don't leave it dead you know, on the field because it's just gonna be uh, vulnerable. Uh, so that's that. Then uh, with the Ignite Monsters, we run through Templar and through Paladin. Uh, nothing really to you know, explain here because none of them have effects, just the pendulum scale effect in which they all have the same effect. And if you don't know, I'm about to read it to you. It says, if you have an ignite card in your other pendulum zone, you can destroy both cards in your pendulum zones. And if you do, add one fire warrior type monster from your deck or graveyard to your hand, which is not once per turn, so you can keep doing it over and over, over, and over again. These guys do count as spells on the pendulum scale. Uh, so that adds uh, counters to your library. That's what makes your library so busted in this deck. Uh, these guys are the ones you're mainly going to be looking to search out and Pendulum Summon with because you can make number 86 
um, and many other plays. Then we have a uh, level fives, a uh, Margrave, uh, for rank five plays. Uh, has a big defense. The attack is not that amazing, but it can put some. You know, fifteen hundred damage can be a really big difference. Uh, then Galen can go up to twenty four. Uh, the biggest monster you own at the moment in this build uh, with ignite uh, with ignition Phoenix because he adds three hundred attack and defense. So this can go up to twenty four. Uh, really good beater can make your uh, rank six um, really good. Then onto spells three ignition Phoenix. Uh, basically, uh, what it does it gives you small key beater play. I don't know if you guys remember that play where uh, with key beater you can lock down one of your scales and just destroy one and keep on searching. Uh, that's what you know made the deck really busted online. You know, on like Dev Pro and stuff like that. But in real life, it doesn't work like that. But this is the closest thing you're gonna get to it because uh, it, um, I'm gonna read you what it says. It says all ignite monsters on the field gain 300 attack and defense once per turn. You can target one ignite card you control, destroy it, and if you do add one ignite card from your deck to your hand, so it doesn't even have to be a monster. But um, you don't run the traps, so yeah, and you can't destroy itself because it's not ignite; it's ignition. Um, so, you know, that's always good. It doesn't even have to be in your pendulum scale, so that's even better. Um, you know. Then, um, through reinforcement and through summoner's arts. Let me put it to you in a simple way. Reinforcement searches what summoner's art can't search, and summoner's art searches what reinforcement can't search. Simple as that. So, those six cards will search every monster on your deck. Uh... Except, of course, the spellcasters. But then, uh, three up for goblin uh, for consistency, uh, and you can use it as a material or cause for a uh, monk uh, because it's always to. It's better to go monk this card summon library than give give your opponent a thousand and draw a card, a random card that you don't know what it is. So yeah. Uh, one part of riches, uh, because once you start exceeding and all that, all your materials go to the graveyard, so you can recycle. Uh, the only reason why I prefer this over Jar of Avarice is because Jar of Avarice, yes, indeed, you shuffle more monsters or cards back into the deck. Uh, but the problem is that you, you only draw one. And uh, this allows you to draw two. You put in three, but draw two, so... Unless you have run through your whole engine, there's a high chance you're going to draw into Ignite Monsters, so that's always good. Uh, then we'll get you self-explanatory. Soul Charge for the same reason that, like I just said, all your uh, XYZ materials go to the graveyard. You can Soul Charge them back and make another power play or stay, you know, stage your board again. Uh, when instant fusion, I only have one target at the moment. I will talk about that later. When Noting comes out, this will be more liable. I also have a, another play, another uh, you know tech that I could suggest to you guys. I'll speak about that in a bit too. And then one target throws, uh, you can bump up to up to three if you want to. This is actually really good. I only just the only reason why I have one is because I just own one, uh, but it's really good. So that's my deck. Now for the extra, I'm not gonna show you my sides. I'm just gonna tell you off, off the top of my head. Some of the cards I could suggest, I could suggest Wavering Eyes at 3 for the side because it's really good for the uh, for the mirror. Uh, they go neck 2, you go plus 1. Uh, poisonous Winds because this deck loses really hard to Steeds. So you can solve that just by not let, letting them play. Uh, Imperial Iron Wall for Cosmos and, you know, Ritual Beast. Uh, and then, you know, Royal Decree, Mind Crush for self-explanatory reasons. So now we go to the extra deck. And we start with a whole bunch of rank fours. Uh, Evil Storm, Excitonite, Diamond Dire Wolf, Cowboy, Castell, Excalibur, uh, Kirk Gorgon, 101, Blade Armor Ninja. Number 86, um, this is the guy that you always trying to go for for sure. Just not allow your opponent to play. Uh, and then Carbonala Warrior. Uh, the only reason why this is so liable, it is a warrior, and it is a rank four, so you can just instant fusion if you can get the extra X, X material for uh, 86. 
and you know it just allows you to make more plays um and the fact that it's a warrior just is just a bonus uh that's so my rank fours then uh rank fives um is this five one two three four five six that's weird um i thought it was five but anyways so i guess not uh so hasty flame uh along with photon strike bouncer that's rank six uh really good uh to make um with gallant and this one banishes this one negates monsters effects um really good really really good this one where, where monsters can't be destroyed you just banish them uh, don't have to worry about it um rank fives volcasaurus and durandal uh Making the random on Kerrigorgon first turn is just a really, really good opening. Volcasaur is uh, really good for cards you can get over. And then that one, uh, Gaia, because you can make it on top of uh, rank 5 and 6. Um, so yeah, that's really good. Then, the one play I wanted to talk to you guys about is this. Um... I'm gonna read you Dragon's Mirror. So if, if you don't like instant fusion in the deck, you can use Dragon's Mirror. And I'm gonna read it to you if you guys don't know what it does. It says, remove from play from your side of the field or your graveyard fusion materials, no, fusion material monsters that are listed on a dragon type fusion monster card and special summon them fusion monster from your fusion deck. Of course, it means extra deck. Um, it's just kind of old. And then let me read first of the dragons. First of the dragons says, uh, it requires two normal monsters which your whole deck is normal monsters and it must be fusion summon and cannot be special summoned by other ways by the way this counts as a fusion summon uh, you can only control one first one first of the dragons this card cannot be destroyed by battle except by battle with a normal monster and is unaffected by other monsters effects so um you know what, what can i say it's just really busted uh construct nope um, it's just, it's just good. It's just that good. Uh, it is a better power play than, um, <clears throat> than the instant fusion to the Carbonala Warrior. But when Nota comes out, maybe instant fusion will be more liable. But for the moment, if you don't like it, uh, you can use this. It's really good. I haven't tried it out myself. I will. Uh, but yeah. So that's all I have for you guys. Uh, thank you guys for watching. See you guys later. Bye.